What's the best case scenario? So we're going to give you three options here. Number one, that Prince Harry attends the coronation alone. Number two, that the toxic Sussexes are forgiven for their attempts to bring down the monarchy and are able to attend together. Number three, neither of them allowed anywhere near this historic occasion. Uh, we've got a poll running on this at GB News on Twitter. The results shortly, but to help you make up your mind and... Each of our guests tonight backing one of those positions, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, US royal commentator, Kinsey Schofield, and the entertainment correspondent, Rebecca Toomey. So, Kinsey, I'm going to start with you because you're the toughest on this, aren't you? You say you don't want Harry or Meghan there. You want them to stay in your neck of the woods. That's right. I think that if we look at the abdication of Edward VIII, um, he was basically exiled. He continued to try to disrupt the royal family behind the scenes and undermine them. But the royal family, you know, they kept their distance. They focused on their core and it ultimately strengthened the brand. I think that the, the royal family should do the same with Harry and Meghan. I think they're very destructive. If you would have asked me a year ago, I wouldn't have had the same opinion. But their actions as of late, uh, it's changed perception of Harry and Meghan, not only in the States, but globally. So I do think that they should stay at home, that they're a distraction and they're very destructive towards specifically William and Catherine.